So here I'd like to take you through starting a meeting with the Surface Hub. So as you can see, I've walked into the meeting room. I have my Surface Hub diary and appointments on the screen here. If my appointment is not showing on the screen, then we need to go and configure and set up that appointment within a Skype client. And we have another video which will take you through that. But as we can see, my appointment is on the screen here. All I need to do is simply touch on my appointment. And the Surface Hub will then start my meeting for me. On this side of the screen, we have my Skype for Business controls. So here we can see the videos of anybody who are dialed into the meeting. We also have a view of what they will be seeing from the webcams within the hub itself. In the middle of the screen then, we then have the whiteboard. This whiteboard, just like any other content within a Skype for Business meeting, can be shared with anybody dialed into that call, very simply by clicking on the present screen at the top. The whiteboard itself is a very useful platform for collaboration, for sharing of ideas, and for basically bringing content to life. Today, I'm just going to simply put up an agenda for the meeting. And here, I could list my bullet points. But of course, I could be using the whiteboard for almost anything else. At the end of that meeting, I want to ensure that everybody retains a copy of what we've been discussing and collaborating with. So here, at the bottom corner of the screen, I can simply click the email icon, select the Surface Hub email address, and it will pre-create an email that contains that content. Here, I can very simply click the Add All Invitees. Anybody who's been invited to this meeting will now receive a copy of that content. And of course, I can use the plus button to then simply add any further email addresses for people outside that call. When I'm done, we click Send. Once the email is finished, my meeting is finished, I can then simply reset the hub by clicking the I'm done button. That will then wipe my content from the device and prepare the device for the next meeting. 